So guys, can you believe that the Italians saw ta 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 as taboo? I mean in those days. Hi guys, welcome to yet another episode of Let's Dig It. Now as you all know in Let's Dig It, we bring to you information you may or may not know around the world. And in this edition, we are going to be focusing on Italy. Yes, Italy. But guys, before we start digging into Italy, please, if you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please endeavor to do so. Click on your notification bell so that when I upload a new video, you will be the first to see it. And also, don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. So, if you are ready, let's dig it! No doubt, Italy is a very beautiful country, especially when it comes to its landmark and its iconic structures, such as the Colosseum, the Duomo di Milano. And also to state here that Italy is located in between, or you can say right at the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. Fact. But that's not what we're going to be looking at today. In today's episode of Let's Dig It, we are going to be showing you five bizarre or five weird things about Italy that you may or may not know. So if you are ready, let's dig it! So guys, can you believe that the Italians saw ta 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 as taboo? I mean in those days. In order for us to grasp how and why the Italians saw ta 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 as a taboo in those days, we just need to establish one fact. That Italy has always been a Catholic country. And of course, the Pope has always been a spiritual guide to many. Although the Pope's role might have changed recently, but in the Italy of the 19th century, the Roman Catholic Church had a great influence, especially when it comes to matter of ta 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 and marriage. The teachings were straightforward and clear. No ta 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 before marriage, and they also saw it as a means to a divine end, which is for procreation. That is, just for the purpose of having children. And marriage is eternal before the eyes of God. And of course, Joseph and Jeremiah coming together in holy matrimony is a no-no. And the most bizarre part of it is that partners couldn't even live together before their wedding. And that was how the Italians lived. No dating. All they did was look at each other and nod their heads and ask for their parents' permission. If there's no permission, no ta 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 ta. And when couples could finally have it, I mean ta 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 ta, it shouldn't be for fun because it was meant for procreation. That means to have children. So no doggy, no hanging, no licking, no sucking, nothing. So as a matter of fact, all of those changed when the sexual revolution of the 1960s started in Italy. That was when the Italians started rejecting the Pope's teachings. So, why the Vatican spoke about the value of the sanctity of marriage? The society voted for divorce and abortion. In that, in 1970, divorce was passed by referendum with over 59% of Italians approving of it. Can you imagine? Five years later, the government passed the family law reform. And in 1978, abortion became legal. So, that is how ta 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 stopped being a taboo in Italy. So, at number two is that we have grown up babies in the house. Can you believe that in Italy, children even up to the age of 30 still live with their parents in the house? Despite the fact that they might even be working, but they still live with their parents in the house. Okay, compare this one now to where you are coming from and leave your comment in the comment section. So, guys, at number three is that we have black cats. Now, due to the association with witches, black cats are often seen as bad luck by many cultures around the world. Why others see them as positive women and also as bringers of good luck. But surprisingly, 
both beliefs are held in Italy. Can you believe that? Now, if you see a black cat in Italy, it means it's bad luck to you. But if the cat sneezes, hits you, it means it's good luck. <laughs> Can you imagine? Where for come? Black pussy cat. Not the sneezing. So, guys, at number four is what Italians call malocchio. Now, this simply means when someone looks at you with envy and hate, especially jealousy. Now, according to the Italian folklore, this can be really, really dangerous and harmful to you. Now, the Italians believe that in order for you to counter this evil eye of jealousy, all you need to do is make horns with your hands like this. Now, this does not mean that I'm a member of the Illuminati. Okay? Or better still, you can wear a horn shaped lucky sham. But that is for the Italians. Now, you that is watching me now from where you are coming from, what do you think you will do when someone looks at you with this kind of eye of jealousy? So, guys, last on our list for today is that can you believe that the Italians are actually the largest producer of wine in the world? Now, Italy produces 54,800 hectoliters of wine in a year as against that of France, which is 49,000 hectoliters of wine in a year as well. Now, Italy is also the largest exporter of wine, with most of its exports going to Germany, the US, and UK. Now you know. So guys, that's our show for today, and thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't. Click on your notification bell so that when next upload a new video like this, you will be the first to see it. Also, follow us on all our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Okay? I'll see you again next time.